Hello, my non-binary royals, my kings and my queens. And I am back, and this is a a cheating Camilo with a dying listener and along with Carlos. So basically what I did was to combine two requests, and I hope that you enjoy. Adios. Well, well, well. You seem to be enjoying yourself, brother. (sighs) Carlos, what do you want? Both you and listener destroyed my life. What more could you want from me? (laughs) You know, even before I could say anything, you bring that up. But, you know what? Since you're such a man, I'll let you find out by yourself. I hope your mistakes haunt you for the rest of your life. Ugh, not this again. Just get out of my sight. I'm tired of seeing the both of you anyways. I don't know why you're talking to me in the first place. Camilo, that's very stupid of you to say. Are you not my brother? Oh, not answering. That's what I thought. Anyways, I'm not going to waste my time on low lives like you. I have things to attend to. <sighs> and I thought I was a selfish one, huh? Can you imagine? All my life. I thought that we were opposites, but it turns out that sometimes me and Camilo could be alike. We are alike. But still, I have listeners to check upon. She hasn't been doing well since the breakup, and I've tried my best to be there. Tia? Yes, Carlos. How's listener doing now? Is she getting better? Well, not exactly. My food doesn't seem to be working. She is in a really bad state right now. The stress, it's causing even worse pressure on the body. And it's slowly... (gasps) It's slowly going to take another life away from us. <sighs> Carlos, you don't seem okay. What's wrong? I'm not going to say that everything is fine, but... It's there, I guess. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to accept reality. If she goes, but she'll always be here in my heart. (laughs) That was very sweet of you to say, Carlos. Truly. Are you crying? (laughs) Yeah, it seems so. I never meant to cry, you know? Ever since then, I... I never shed a tear after that, but it seems as if listener has really put an impact on you. You've really changed. I can't recognize my own nephew anymore. But you have changed for the greater good. Thank you. You're welcome. You should probably go now. It's about, I think it's 30 minutes before her bedtime. Oh, okay. (sighs) The streets are pretty lively tonight. Are they hosting another party again? Hopefully not. If they are, I'm not going. Listener won't be able to make it, so what's the point? Parties are boring anyways. Knock, knock. 
listener? Huh? Oh. I guess she wasn't kidding, huh? You're really in a bad state. Oh, no, no. D don't force yourself to get up just because of me. Lie down. I, I know her food doesn't work, but I actually decided to carry some of my own food. What's wrong with my finger? Oh, um, uh... I was trying to slice the onions and then because of the wateriness it made me close my eyes and I chopped my finger off. No, it's not actually gone. It's still there, but it left a pretty bad wound. But I'll be fine. It was worth it. I mean, I did make the food for you. Uh, can I leave it here? <laughs> Great. So, I know this might feel s or sound stupid, but how are you feeling now? Do you feel any slight improvement or anything? No? Okay. But don't give up hope. I, I know you'll survive. Right? <laughs> I've known you for quite a few months now. And you're the strongest person I know. Well, not referring to Louisa now. Not physical strength, but emotional strength. You're emotionally strong. <sighs> now are you emotionally strong, but... You're a person I want to continue having in my life. Not a person I want to lose. Oh, would you look at that? 30 minutes up already. Um, I guess it's your bedtime now. I'll make sure to visit you first thing in the morning. Just make sure to get some rest. <sighs> you look peaceful. Good night, listener. <sighs> Morning already. Oh well, I should probably get ready. Um, Tia. Yes, Carlos. Where's listener? I went to go look at the health shed. She's not there. Oh, um, actually, she's at our house right now. All alone? Um, yeah, we saw some hints of recovering, so she was free to go home. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna head over there now. Uh, thank you. No problem. Listener? Huh? Camilo? Carlos, Camilo, what the heck are you doing here? You already promote stress to her already. Wait, listener, why are you crying? It's nothing, Carlos. Just stay out of it. Did you yell at her? I didn't, okay? Camilo, I know when you're lying. What did you do? I didn't do anything. She's just too much of a weakling to handle anything. That's what she is. And imagine, I thought that you would change over these few months to think about your mistakes, but instead you make it worse. That's all you do. What happened to my brother? What happened to you? You've changed. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. At least she's healing. I think. Listener? I want... Go to sleep. It, it, it will take all the pressure. Please. I don't want anything to happen to you. Look. Keep your lovey-dovey crap away from me. 
I don't want to see you guys, okay? If you don't want to see us, then why did you come here? Camilo? What is that? What is what? What's that in your pocket? It's nothing. Camilo, Carlos, stay away from me. Is that an injection? No, it's not. Yes, the heck it is. What, what, what did you... What did you do? I gave her what she deserved. But I don't know why you keep interrupting me. You, you drugged her. You know, I always knew something was wrong with you. You need to deal with that obsession, Camilo. I'm not obsessed. She needs to pay for what she did. No. It's the other way around. You need to pay for what you have done. I can't deal with this. Listener. Amor. She's not breathing. Oh, God. L listener, come on. Y y you're not... Come on, wake up. Wait, 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 wait what? The injection, the injection that she gave me wasn't, wasn't supposed, supposed to do that. To do was only was supposed, supposed to let her sleep. Wait. Camila, what did you do? L listener. Christ. <laughs> She's dead. It's your fault. What? How's it my fault? It's your fault she's dead, you know. Tia said that she could live for now because she was recovering. But you just had to come and ruin everything as always, Camilo. Go back to your mistress. Go back to your concubine. Don't call her that. She's not a concubine. Don't you dare. What do you have to say anyways? I was there when you were not. She cried on my shoulder. And you know how much it hurts? Being in love with someone that doesn't love you back. Because of you. You're a cheating bastard. That's what you are. It's been... Five months, Camilo. Almost half a year. And I thought that you would have changed. But you haven't. Not one bit. You haven't changed one bit. And now you've taken a life, Camilo. What will our familia think when they hear... That you took a life, Camilo. Mama warned you about it. Dolores and Papi warned you, Camilo. Now look. Look what you have done. Carlos, please. Don't. Please. Please. Don't. Don't come near me. I don't want to be associated with a murderer. Because that's what you are. A murderer. I didn't intentionally mean to. But you had the intention to bring harm, Camilo. Just because you don't kill does mean that you don't have the intention to. Just get out of my sight. Carlos, please. Don't say anything. You really think that I'm going to hide in the shadows for you again? Camilo, you're not very innocent, you know. No one in that family is innocent. I don't know what Abuela did to you. I don't know who did such to you. But don't worry. <laughs> Bad things always have a way 
of coming right back to you. After all, karma is a bitch after all, isn't it? Then if you love her that much, then why aren't you crying? Camilo, just because I don't shed tears doesn't mean I'm not crying. My insides hurt. You think I don't want to scream and cry and hold my lover? She was never yours. She would have been, Camilo. Face it, no matter what you do, something will always come back to you. And right now, <laughs> you will die the same way that she did for all of your lifetimes, Camilo Madrigal. Brother or no brother, I will end you.